Hi guys, Wednesday the 23rd of June and I'm back with another, um, sorry I'll just show you the, the, the box again, another uh, mediumship training deck card. So I've just given it a quick shuffle and picked a card, I haven't even looked at it properly. It is called Energy Scanning, okay? So what it says in this card and how to practice doing this, right, for mediumship work or just for even kind of working on your own intuition. It says, our psychic energy is a precious resource that can help us in any situation. Tapping into this psychic energy allows us to blend with anyone or anything through energy scanning, which is a technique of feeling, seeing or hearing intuitive information. This exercise can assist you in determining how you receive intuitive information, which will also assist in your mediumship development. Have a friend stand in front of you, or better yet, have a friend bring someone you've never met before. Stand about a foot or two apart. Close your eyes and imagine that you're both made of pure light. Imagine that your energy field is blending with the other person's. Now let your awareness scan up and down their body in long, slow movements. See if there's one particular spot where your attention is drawn. Can you see any colours or is one part brighter than another? Take your time and make a mental note of everything you're sensing and feeling. Next, open your eyes and share what you've received with the person. Try to document your experience in your journal to build up your library of visual symbols, feelings and interpretations. Remember that when you deliver the information, you have to take responsibility for the manner in which you present the information. By practicing this quick and easy exercise, you'll soon realize the incredible value of this tool as it can be used in so many different practices and situations. Okay, so that's energy scanning. Now, we did this in our class um, over the last, um, whatever it is, nine months or something. Um, well, we had six weekends. But we would have sat opposite someone and closed our eyes and took deep breaths and kind of connected to spirit and um, just seeing what visual symbols we got or what feelings we got, what colours came to mind um, and then explained what that colour meant to us uh, in relation to that you know the person we were partnered with so we would have done this in class um but just sitting opposite someone not kind of standing on a random stranger even though the gang in the course were kind of strangers anyway but so i would have done this and it's fascinating what comes up i was paired with a girl and she told me she says i have no idea why she says but i'm seeing an alien face and a heart on top of it and she says, I, that sounds ridiculous. She says, I'm sure it doesn't mean anything to you. I said, actually, completely the opposite. I said, I'm obsessed with watching Ancient Aliens on Netflix at the moment. So I says, that's exactly what that means. And she was gobsmacked. So definitely with this, whatever colours you see or sense, whatever feelings you get, whatever symbols you see, whatever emotions you feel, if you have um, pains within your body or anything, you need to tell them to the person because they will mean something. Um, during one reading I did, um, I said that my whole body was warm but that my feet were gone freezing cold and then my throat kind of got all caught up and I couldn't, I knew what I wanted to say but I couldn't kind of speak it as such. And it turned out the person had had, uh, I think it was Parkinson's disease and lost, um, had bad circulation and couldn't walk in their final kind of days, weeks, months, whatever, and lost their speech as well. So the feelings can come up within your own body. So if you had a pain or a heavy feeling in your chest, then it could be something to do with their chest. But again, obviously, if you're doing this with, uh, paired with a living person, you have to be very careful what you which you say to them, you don't want to freak them out, do you know? So yeah, um, give that a try guys and see how you get on, let me know. I've definitely had plenty of experience with this kind of thing anyways. It's, it's, it's actually really, really interesting thing, things that come out. So that's it for today guys. That's the second card that I've gone through from my mediumship training deck. So I'll pick another one tomorrow. Thanks a million. Please do leave your likes and your comments.
Thanks, guys. Bye.